Rolando Roly Romero versus Isak Cruz, March 30th. It is officially going down. We got some training footage. Let's get straight into it. Now going into this fight, Rolando Romero will have the height advantage. He will also have the reach advantage. But if we know anything about Isak Cruz, his height doesn't matter. He's gonna put pressure on you and continue to walk forward the entire fight. See Rolando Romero here. Obviously a very awkward boxing style, you could say. Some vicious uppercuts from Isak Cruz there. Once again, guys, March 30th. Please be sure to leave your predictions for this fight in the comment section down below. Obviously, both of these men have lost to Gervonta Tank Davis. But I think we can all agree, Isak Cruz gave Tank the tougher fight. I will say, I think this will be a tough fight for Roly Romero, despite his reach advantage. I think Isak Cruz is gonna cause him some problems. He's so good at closing the distance. He has a great chin. And I think when Cruz does close that distance, he's gonna let his hands go. Isak Cruz has definitely improved as well. If you go back and watch his first pro fight, he turned pro very recently, and then watch his most recent performance, you can see the improvements. Now, despite Broly Romero having an awkward boxing style, I think that can play into his advantage sometimes. It's hard to prepare for this guy. Roly Romero is going to do things in the ring that you probably wouldn't think uh, your opponent's going to do. And sometimes that works for Roly. Come on, come on, come on. 